The catastrophic events that took place in the autumn of 2020 in Nagorno-Karabakh, or Artsakh in Armenian, have not only dramatically changed Armenia's political landscape, but continue to pose grave danger to the country's sovereignty. By forcing Armenia to sign a capitulation on November 9, 2020, the Kremlin achieved what it has wanted since the 1990s, namely to position its troops in Artsakh, amid the only conflict in the former Soviet Union where Russia did not already have its so-called peacekeepers. The implementation of the Lavrov plan for the resolution of the Artsakh conflict also took care of the issue of Azeri resistance. Introduced by Russia in 2010, the plan offered Azerbaijan to bury the issue of the status of Artsakh in return for the stationing of Russian troops. By pressuring the Armenian leadership and servicemen to capitulate, the Kremlin has strong-armed Armenia into exclusive dependency on Russia as its security guarantor against a looming Turkish Azeri threat. It is clear that the current regime in Yerevan has neither the political will nor the capabilities to overcome the crisis, leaving Armenia's population demoralized and the country's political landscape badly fractured, with Russia-controlled and sponsored political parties dominating the field. One of the political forces that advocates for drastic changes in the functioning of the Armenian state, and one that encourages a reorientation of its foreign policy toward the West, is the National Democratic Alliance, or the NDA. With vast grassroots presence and support across Armenia and the diaspora, the NDA is the largest political movement not affiliated with either one of the four successive governments that have ruled Armenia with disastrous outcomes since the Republic's independence from the Soviet Union in 1991. The NDA's vision is to build a strong state that will ensure the security and prosperity of every Armenian citizen and become a safe home for diaspora Armenians. It sees the resolution of many of the country's past and present problems in Armenia declaring itself a legal successor state of the First Republic of 1918-20 within the borders recognized by the League of Nations Special Commission and U.S. President Woodrow Wilson's Arbitral Award in 1920 prior to the occupation of Armenia by the 11th Red Army. The NDA believes that by declaring itself a successor of Soviet Armenia within the administrative boundaries within the USSR, the four successive regimes which govern the Republic of Armenia since 1991 have handicapped the Artsakh movement and failed to gain international support for its reunification with Armenia. On domestic policy, the NDA advocates for a stronger and more accountable government that will implement modern and inclusive economic reforms. It intends to build the foundations for a fourth industrial revolution using human and physical capital present in Armenia and the diaspora. The foundation for the NDA's social policies is its growth model that has both regional and sectoral focus, allowing both proportionate progress in cities, small towns and villages across the country. On foreign policy, the NDA advocates for stronger and more meaningful relations with the West. Specifically, it will strive to secure Armenia's status as a major non-NATO ally of the United States, which will provide security guarantees for Armenia and allow it to rebuild its defense capabilities. In addition to harnessing the power of a unified Armenian nation, the NDA will rely on the political, security and financial assistance of its Western partners to help develop a strong economy and build a viable alternative to Russia. The NDA rejects the current colonial treatment of Armenia by the Kremlin and aims to build friendly relations with countries based on democratic values, mutual respect and common interests. To this end, the NDA will partner with all individuals political parties and sovereign states that share these values and interests and would like to see a strong, unified and independent Armenia. It will bring to bear the potential of the worldwide Armenian network and that of Armenia's Western partners to create conditions necessary to build an independent, democratic and viable Armenian state. Under the leadership of the National Democratic Alliance, Armenia will be able to recover from the losses suffered in the war through diplomatic means. The combined power of a unified nation, reinforced by the legal rights bestowed on the country as a successor to the First Republic, and Armenia's international partners will see to it.